What's up YouTube? Got an awesome piece today. Finally broke down and bought this piece. MTGB 1000 Wildlife Promising. Let's check it out. Let's go. Alright YouTube, here it is. The Wildlife Promising Love the Sea and the Earth 2020 MTGB 1000 Wildlife Promising. This is a great looking piece. A um, little pricey up, up there is released in November of 2020 with the uh, part of the Wildlife Promising series. I think there's four watches all together. I did the review of the GW9400 Wildlife Promising, the Range Man. And here it is, the MTGB 1000. This was uh, released in Japan and also in the US for $1,300. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, it's very expensive, but managed to find a good deal on it. Here it is the Wildlife Promising MTGB. Great looking design on the box itself. You have the Wildlife Promising logo right on the box there in red colorway. A bunch of different animals there, iguanas, elephants, um, probably an ox, a turtle. Um, beautiful, nice um, design there all around whales and so forth, fishes and whatnot. Um, again, this brand, the uh, Wildlife Promising, love to see in the earth, pretty much likes to talk about different animals and um, likes to bring awareness to the conservation of animals. And um, they do a lot of contributions to preserve those animals that are pretty much almost extinct or in um, pretty or close to extinction. So this one in particular is the African rock python. So for those of you who do not know, and I didn't know prior to this video and doing my research, that the African um, rock python is the fourth largest snake in the world and the largest in Africa. Um, so it's a huge, <laughs> huge. And I myself am not a fan of snakes or mice or rats. <laughs> <laughs> they give me the, the goosebumps, but this one here, I did some research and I couldn't stand watching these videos. I'll share a video with you just to show you how big these snakes get. Alerted to the presence of a predator by a herd of impalas cries, wildlife photographer and safari guide Michelle Soule came across the rare sight of an African rock python, making this young impala its next meal as its mother looked on helplessly. Capable of reaching lengths of up to 7 meters and weights of 90 kilograms. Incredibly, this snake can swallow prey three times wider than its own head. Elastic ligaments allow the jaws to stretch apart, and the two sides of the lower jaw are not joined to each other. If it needs to, it's able to divide its upper jaws as well, giving its head four sections that can move independently. The acid in the python's stomach will break everything down, including hooves and horns, and digestion of such a big meal may take weeks, during which the snake will be more vulnerable to predators. But after such a meal, this snake might not need to feed again for up to a year. And there it was. And here it is the model number, the MTGB1000 WLP for Wildlife Promise 1ACR 5544 module. That's the uh, model number or the module number. So the inner components of this watch itself. And that module 5544 is shared with all the MTGB 1000 series watches. So if you don't want to pay a premium for this limited edition, you can always get the standard edition um, MTGB that shares the same module and inner components of the watch. And the box itself resembles the actual skin of the MT. I'm sorry, uh, the skin of the the Python in reference. Um, but enough about this box. Let's check out the watch itself. All right, you met inside this. The, the outer box has the same pattern as the inner um, box. Now this ex itself, I thought would have a texture feel um, to that of the snake, which would be pretty cool. But it doesn't. It's a flat um, material there. Uh, but it's pretty cool design, nevertheless. It's pretty neat. All right, they have the wildlife promising again. Now the wildlife promising does have some texture, does have some uh, dimensional feel to the print there. Let me see if I can zoom in. 
see that there's texture, not a lot of texture, but it's it's nevertheless some texture. On the side here, you have the box, which comes with the, the manual, uh, the warranty card. Here's the manual there, the warranty card as well inside of there, but nothing of importance there. Put that back, put the box to the side. I'm gonna show you guys the actual watch. Before we do that, rocking the GA1100 khaki colored aviator watch have these brand new if you're interested let me know i think about 145 dollars now here it is the mtgb on the top they got wildlife promising love to see in the earth nice black inner component there pull the watch out brand new love that and here we have it mtgb 1000 wildlife promising here's the tag itself there's a skew 1300 MSRP 5544 module. Okay, but here we are. Pull this off here. You have the Wildlife Promising logo right on the front there. There we go. And then you have again that design, the um, Python design printed on the watch. Now let's remove some of this plastic here. Um, so I can get a better look of the watch and I'll do a macro shot of it too. So you guys get a really good close up of this watch. You have nice, nice rose gold accents on the um, side of the watch there next to the bolts that hold the watch together. Okay. Get it out. There we go. All right. And then you have the exact same pattern, the snake pattern that travels throughout the entire metal band of the watch, including the trifold clasp here on the top, All right? All right, let's take some of this plastic off so you guys can see all the details. There we go. Oh yes, gorgeous. All right, so zoom in. And I'll show you guys what we're working with here. There you go. You have that, as you know, this is a solar powered G-Shock watch, which is cool because the solar pattern there on the back of the display is what charges the watch, but they made it to look, they made it look like the Python um, skin as well, which is pretty neat. Uh, I didn't even know they could do that. I didn't even know they could change the panel um, shape, um, but this one looks like it's actually, looks like skin, right? Snake skin on the back there. Then you have this nice rose gold accents right on there, right there. All right, that's the uh, this mold window here. The window there shows you the battery strength. It also show you shows you the um, it's hard to read, but it gives you the day, days of the week on the top corner. And again, the macro shot will get a better look of that. But there you have the Sunday, the day of the weeks right in the top there. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then you have the different variants of the modes available, alarm, stopwatch, daylight savings times, um, and then timer on the top there, which you can't see because it's blocked by my hands. Um, then you have a 24 hour window there for if you like that military time. And then in the bottom there, you have the world time as well as AM, PM window right there next to the four o'clock and the five o'clock position, the 24, uh, the 31 day of the week or dates of the week available there. Yes or no for um, if you received the world time and then on and off for your alarm um, indicators. Around the bezel here, you have the different world times available pretty much by pulling the crown. Pull the crown. Turn it clockwise and pull it out. And there now you could turn it and point at the different time zones available. I'm gonna put Chicago here. You see the um, world time is adjusting. Pull it to the second position. Again, you could change the time on there as well. I'm gonna change that again to, um, I'm gonna change that again to Chicago. You see the window now is spinning. That's for the home time. There we go. Push it in to set it. And now we've set the time. Pretty neat. All right, so you see here the um, bezel itself, the, the color of the uh, or the design of the snake carries on to the top side of the bezel, 
but not on the side. So you don't have that design on the side of the watch. Only in the top portions of the watch, including here and the top of the bezel, but not the side. Same with the band itself. You have the design on the top, but not on the side of the watch, which is fine with me. I think it preserves the quality. That way when you uh, wear it, it doesn't get damaged or um, faded as much. All right, then you have this nice pattern on the actual um, crown there, which gives you a nice grip when you're using it. Black IP, it looks like on the buttons there on the side. And then you have a nice red accent there on the mode button on the bottom left. Okay. MTG has a nice um, glossy mirror finish to the MTG in red with the Casio logo on the bottom printed in gold. All right. Overall, I think this is quite legible. Nice, this, nice weight on the watch. And I'll put the dimensions on the screen for you. On the back plate, you have the um, Wildlife Promising um, love to see in the earth logo. You see it there. Stainless steel back. Um, again, this is the MTGB, which automatically gives you the um, gives you the sapphire glass. All right, and you can see it there. Sapphire crystal right on the bottom there to indicate that this one does have sapphire. Uh, tough solder, Bluetooth, multiband six, pretty much all the technology you'd like on this model. 5544 module, MTG B1000, the base model. Water resistance up to 20 bar. All right. And then my favorite part, let's check out the macro shot of this watch. Capture all the details um, that this camera otherwise wouldn't capture. Let's check it out.
All uh, right, and there you guys have it. The MTGB 1000 Wildlife Promising Series G-Shock Limited Edition. Let's check out the backlight on this puppy. Um, first, you see there's a loom on the hour in many hand, as well as the indicators on top of each hour um, marker there. Right on the top there, you have a nice loom. Um, there you go, better look at that. And then the backlight itself is beautiful, very bright, and then also it um, fades in and out, which one of my favorite features with the, some of these G-Shock models, um, the backlight, how it does that. Close up picture of that, zoom in, there we go. It's pretty, it's not as dark in this room, but if I do this way, you can see, get an idea on how bright it actually is. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me once again. This is Chicago. Till next time. For now, we have the MTGB 1000 Wildlife Promising. Let's see what else comes in store. See you guys very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm rocking my G-Shock, 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 I'm rocking my G-